Today, we're going to take a look at all the games TriPower Games has made over the past year and see how well we did. And between you and I, one of these games was created for specifically a game jam that we had hosted ourselves, and it scored the worst out of the entire game jam. Stay tuned, see which one I'm talking about. Number one, a Flappy Bird clone. This was actually our first ever game. Uh, it's not quite pretty looking, it's mostly just shapes and, and random generation of the positions of those shapes and trying to get a shape to go through the shapes and the shape and the blood something something. Anyways, um, this was my first ever project that I ever made with Unity. So let me sarcastically brag about the elite artwork that went into this. But on a serious note, I genuinely commend myself here for just learning something about physics and, and random generation. Now, unfortunately, I actually lost the source code to this entire thing, so I can't actually show anything off for it, but let's just set that one in the past. <laughs> the past is the past, right? Moving on to game number two. This was a another 2D game. It was another. It was an infinite shooter instead of some kind of Flappy Bird clone. Um, and I wanted to try something that was a little bit more than just blocks. So I used some hand-drawn kind of assets uh, to set this up and model everything, uh, which was kind of interesting. But uh, whatever. Uh, really, what I was interested in learning in this one was about animations. So it taught me about animation controllers, uh, just animations in general. I learned more about uh, collision detection, uh, animation events, and things like that. Uh, what to do when a bullet hits you, that kind of stuff. As well as where to shoot their bullets at uh, without it being such a direct line, you know, something that you can actually dodge instead of being too difficult. Uh, that was uh, a really fun experience for me. Alright guys, let's talk about game number three. This 3D wave shooter was the first game I came up with all by myself. I know, I know. The concept of a zombie shooter is not exactly groundbreaking, but hey, the code was written all by yours truly. And I even created some custom assets. Admittedly though, for most of it I had to rely on an asset pack or two because let's face it, I'm not the next Picasso. But let me tell you, Incredible Zombos had it all. Different zombie variants, various shooting modes, a health system, infinite waves, and even a high score board. Which, um, doesn't quite work anymore. But you know what? The game was fantastic and a learning experience for me. It was the first time I dove into optimization techniques for uh, mesh, audio, and code. So, what did I learn? For mesh optimization, I discovered the importance of reducing polygon count and using a level of detail LOD techniques to improve performance. As for audio, I learned how to compress audio files without sacrificing too much quality and how to use audio mixers in Unity to create smooth transitions between sound effects and music. And when it came to code optimization, I realized the value of using efficient algorithms, avoiding unnecessary calculations, and making use of object pooling to reduce the load on the garbage collector. Incredible Zombos was an amazing dev experience for me. Sure, I had some issues, but uh, hey, that's part of the game journey. But was it the game that placed last in my very own game jam? No. Okay, let's dive into the last and final game, Go Alone. This is where I finally got to follow my passion. Crafting immersive atmosphere, engaging story, and challenging gameplay. Picture this, a group of mercenaries on the run, braving the dangers of a forbidden forest. Our main character loses his dear friend right before embarking on the journey, but not before receiving some heartening last words. Now, let me tell you, Go Alone was an adventure. Players moved along a restricted path, facing off against foes in intense combat zones, and combat Chef's Kiss. Pure adrenaline with expertly timed clicks for combos and staggers. Hidden rune stones awaited discovery, offering sweet power-ups while menacing boss enemies lurked around every corner. But, hey, it wasn't all smooth sailing. We faced our share of setbacks, like players sometimes slipping off the path, 
or dialogue popping up at the weirdest times. But that's all part of the wild ride that is game development. Am I right? Alright, I hope you enjoyed this kind of wild ride through all the games that we created this past year. Now let's address the burning question. Which one of these games were the ones that failed in the game jam that we created? Drum roll, please. It was Go Alone! Yeah! The best looking game we had made so far. So, yeah, averaged about 2.5 across the board for atmosphere, tone, story, and fighting back, all the things that I care about dearly, unfortunately. You'll notice I'm ranked number four, which seems like quite a high ranking to be in, but yeah, when it's out of four submissions total, uh, not exactly the most glamorous position now, is it? Still last. My only saving grace here was uh, an awesome review by a guy from a studio called Bullhead Studios who goes through these game jams and does his own uh, video reviews of the games and tries to narrate and go along with them. Uh, it seemed like he had a lot of fun with it, so you'll find the link to his video in the description. Yeah, it had its fair share of bugs and uh, not so great story, I guess, and the combat was supposed to be great, but kind of left people wanting more. <laughs> but hey, that's life, right? This setback didn't deter us though, so check out our next upcoming game, which is a little bit more lighthearted than what we're used to, Cows vs. Aliens. I mean, who doesn't love a good Cow vs. Alien showdown? And we're really excited to see how it's going to be received by you guys. Keep an eye out for the next video, because it's going to be a devlock specifically about that. So smash that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see our next upcoming devlog. Thanks guys.